We are just eight days away from Down in Flames, and we are going to have ourselves three IC ladder match qualifiers right here, right now, to determine who will be going on to that huge six-man ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. We already know that it will be Ryan Shamrock, Tony Ford, and Kenichi Hikaru. And now, one of, this man right here is one of six men who are trying to get themselves an opportunity here tonight. Three one-on-one -on -one qualifiers. Vasco Cortez Jr. looking fired up here tonight. Of course, the uh, winner of debut of the year. Last year, the winner of Male Breakout Star of the Year. Unable to defeat Doran Lowe, though. And you've got to think that might shake the confidence of Vasco Cortez Jr. Currently 2-2 two and two in his CEW career. But tonight, he takes on somebody who has been in CEW before but has not been able to pick up a win, but has been able to capture some gold elsewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one half of your UEW World Tag Team Champions and one half of the DCW Double Dragon Champions. It is Evan Poland, and this man has gone around the world and is slowly making a name for himself. But the one thing that he's not been able to do as of yet is capture singles gold. So you best believe he is fired up here tonight. He is looking ready to go. And you best believe he is going to do everything that it takes to try and take Cortez Jr. down. But this is going to be one hell of a match. We have one hell of a show for you here tonight with three massive qualifiers. And oh my god, look at this immediately. Oh, I don't think you want to be going shot for shot with a guy like Vasco. Because look at this. Out of the gate, Vasco Cortez Jr. just so strong. Just, oh god, what on earth? Out of the gate. Already the apron DDT. And now, oh my god, the leg drop as well from Cortez Jr. Going into the cover here. One kick out there from Evan Poland. And of course, we still have two more qualifiers. We've got Samuel Clark of DCW taking on Justin Noble of the Pain Foundation. But look at that strength of Evan. Sit out power bomb. But Vasco in the ropes. And in our main event tonight, two members of the Academy of Excellence go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Gene Jackson, Ben Jenkins, two of the best Academy graduates battling it out here tonight as well. And now away. Oh! Evan with the slingshot spear. Poland's doing as they do. One. Kick out there from Vasco Cortez Jr., and now look at this, Evan telling him to bring it. Oh, I, again, I don't know how wise this is on the part of Evan, but you know what? You have to respect it. Oh my God, he is going crazy with these shots right now. Look at this. Now Evan, what's he looking for? Falcon Arrow to Vasco, who rolls to the outside. Not sure how wise that is. When you've got Evan stirring with the outside dive. Man, what a way to kick off these qualifiers. Then with two men who are all about intensity. Who are all about trying to get that opportunity. And oh, wait, hold on. What is Evan looking to do? Oh! Went for the double stop and got caught with a neck breaker there from Vasco Cortez Jr. Now Vasco, what's he looking to do? Oh, oh, driving Evan into the barricade. Here's the thing, right? While, whilst Vasco might have earned the fans' respect, he is in no way, I will say this, he is in no way somebody who plays to the people. 
he is very aggressive. He will hit you hard. He will throw you into ring posts, into barricades. He will do whatever it takes to walk away with the win. And now look at that faking out, Evan. Very smart. The part of Vasco with the running knee as well. Breaking up the count. And there's an elbow right to the back of the neck. As this is what I mean by Vasco is by no means somebody who plays to a crowd. Evan a little bit more of a showman. And now look at this going up top. But Vasco, look at this. Saw it coming. And now wait, what's about to happen? Oh! Goaded in the double axe handle. And this is the thing. Vasco Cortez Jr. An incredibly skilled talent. Look at this. Seamless movement right there. One, two. Kick out there from Evan. Oh, but now look at this. Oh, wait, hold on. Evan saying you got to do more than that. Oh, God. Look at this. Oh, but Evan back up to his feet. Caught with a drop kick, though. And he's still not done. Look at this. Oh, but that running knee might have just taken him out. But Evan, look at this. Still stirring. That's right now. Look at this. Vasco taking out the legs. And this might be the strategy that wins Vasco the whole thing. Oh, what's he looking for? Oh, the dive to the outside. Oh, but wait, hold on. Vasco not done. Oh, it takes a run up. Oh, Evan gets out of the way. Oh, my God. Vasco's knee just caught the still steps there. Flat liner from Evan. And this is going to change the tide of this fight. This is going to change the tide of this matchup right here. Evan might have just got a little bit of a lucky break there. Getting out of the way. Vasco's knee might be absolutely ruined from here on. He's right now. Look at this. Evan getting himself going. And now Tornado DDT to Vasco. And now going up top. What's Evan looking to do? Elbow drop to the small of the back. Goes into the cover here. One, two, kick out there from Vasco. And now if Evan was thinking, you know, quickly, which, you know, oh my God, what the hell? If, if Evan was quick thinking, which, you know what, he's still pretty early into his career. It, it's something you learn. Evan would have hooked that leg, the, the, the bad leg of Vasco. But at this point, does this man even have a one, two? Oh, almost knocked him out with that corkscrew forearm. Now, wait, hold on. Vasco looking to put it away. Might be thinking you messed with a ball. It might be time for Evan to get the horns, but no fighting out the corner. Discus Lariat. Discus Lariat there from Evan, who is now stirring, sending Vasco into the corner himself. And now, all oh, big stomp to the gut. And now, what is Evan looking to do? Oh, the drop kick right to the ribs. Now look at this, Evan still not done. Oh, super kick to Vasco. One, two, kick out there from Vasco. And right now, Evan is stirring. He's going up top. He's looking for something big here. But Vasco back up to his feet. Oh, dodges the, the shot there. And now this could be Vasco's moment. Big running knee once again. And now just trying to wear down Evan. And this is, you know, I wouldn't usually advocate for this. But Evan is the kind of guy who if you wear him down a little bit, he's not going to be able to fly around the ring as quickly as he usually does. Now, oh, oh, Evan caught with a kick to the gut. And now, oh, no, he's in the corner. This is bad. Oh, running knee, though. Vasco going 
going up top himself. This could be big. Could win the match here. Oh my god, thinking the moonsault coming in. Goes into the cover. One, two. Kick out there from Evan. And you've got to be wondering how much, because there, there was a bit of hesitation there. How much of that hesitation was caused by that knee right to the still steps. Oh my god. I mean, Vasco not showing any weakness, but you've got to believe he is fighting through the pain right now. Big runner there from Evan. Now, what on earth is Evan looking to do? I have no idea. Perhaps thinking another outside dive. No way. Oh, goes up to the top rope. What's he looking for? Another runner. And Evan's on a bit of a wall path here. Dragging Vasco back into the ring. Picks him up, and now what's he looking to do? Off the ropes. Oh, Vasco able to uh, the sidestep whatever Evan was looking for there. Oh, big time back elbow from Evan. He's now just bringing the fight here. He, he, he's playing Vasco his own game here. And it's kind of working, I'm not going to lie. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, Vasco. Oh, he tried to evade. But there's that knee from Evan. One, two, kick out from Vasco. And what a opening contest these two have had. Evan now has him in the tree of woe. Now, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, backstabber into the cover here. One, two. Vasco gets to the ropes. And you know what? I think Evan might have studied the tapes here. You know, this match was announced a little while ago. Oh, there's the spear again. He has been gunning for the ribs of Vasco in this, like, for the, throughout this matchup, really. He has been gunning after Vasco's ribs and the back. Oh, driven down with authority by Vasco Cortez Jr. Who catches him. But the damage to the knee. What is that going to do to Vasco? One, two. Evan somehow stays alive, though. We've seen Vasco put people away with that thing. Oh, but now we go. Oh! Kick to the back of the knee. And this could be what Evan needs to put the matchup away. One. Oh, kick out of one there from Vasco. Now wait. Oh. Evan sacrificing his own ribs for that one. And now he's looking for something. Oh. And that might have been the ribs at play there. Oh, couldn't get the couldn't get the launch on the on the corkscrew forearm there. Could Vasco DDT? That's gonna do some damage though. Now wait, hold on, Vasco. What on earth is this man about to do? I have no idea. On the runner to Evan. And now look at this, just throwing shots right now. Oh my god, wait, hold on, you can, you, you can just see the, the blood starting to form on Evan. This is what I mean by Vasco, he doesn't, yeah, he, he doesn't mess around and there's another moonsault, but clutch the ribs, and Evan wisely wrote one, moves over to the corner, oh, but not wisely, not wisely at all, Vasco has him caught, oh, but Evan might have been faking him out. DDT to Vasco. And now Vasco in trouble. Evan, what's he looking to do? Looking to fly. Oh, misses the swanton though. Oh, the clothesline to the back of the head. And this could be where Vasco gets something going on. Oh, draw breaker there from Evan. Oh, the flatliner. 
Oh, but Vasco in the ropes. Now wait, hold on, oh wait, hold on. Sliced bread from Evan. Goes up top. Swan ton bomb. Shout out to Jeff Hardy. One, two. Vasco kicks out. What is it gonna take? Well, Evan thinks it's gonna take another uh, another big move here. Oh, went for the double stomp. Caught with a corkscrew forearm. And this could be the moment that Vasco's been looking for. This could be it. Vasco has him caught with the horns. One, two, Evan stays alive, only just, but he's alive, and you can see the frustration starting to set in here from Vasco, wait, hold on, rakes the eyes, oh, but Evan, not gonna let that phase him, Evan taking things to the top rope, looking perhaps to put this match in the way, oh, misses the splash though, I oh, went for the boot, DDT again from Evan. And man, this is just the first of three qualifiers. This is going to be an insane show. Oh, oh! Wait, hold on, the ref. The, I, 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 I don't know. Did the ref realize that was low? Vasco stopping at nothing here to, to try and put Evan away. Oh, but now look at this, Evan fighting back, super kick. Oh, went for it again, but no, look at this. Oh my God, just that slap from Vasco. Oh my God. Now what's he looking to do? Oh, just stomping on the chest of Evan. Oh, and Vasco is pissed. And he looks for it one more time. One, two. How on earth? How is Evan still alive, man? Oh, the knee right to the skull. And, oh wait, oh god, oh god, Vasco with a Kamigoye! One, oh, what, what the hell? Evan's alive! Oh my god, Evan's firing up! What the hell are we seeing here? Into the spear! Double stomp, there's the next snap. And now Evan, he's feeling it right now, running on pure adrenaline. Look at this. He is fired up on all cylinders, looking to put Vasco away with the neck breaker. Oh, wait, oh, no, no, no. Picks up Vasco. Oh, oh, spin kick though. Now Vasco just waits. Oh wait, hold on, oh wait, oh kick to the gut. And now wait, hold on Evan. Catch him with the roll up. One, two, Evan gets him. Oh my God. Evan's going to down in flames. Vasco can't believe it. He is not happy about that. Evan is gushing blood right now as we are going to move on to the next qualifier. Oh my god. Well, after that, I think that goes to show you that tonight you cannot ex well, hey, expect the unexpected. But oh dear god. Here comes 
the self-proclaimed best around, Justin Noble, and of course he's not alone. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Alex Blade? Is it going to be Madison? It's going to be Derek Colon. I feel like these two have formed a little bit of a friendship, which is terrifying from the Joker's Wild uh, tournament. And now these two are going to be actual menaces when it comes to this qualifying match because you can't trust Justin Noble on his own. And with Derek Colin, it makes it even worse. And, and the most annoying thing is, is that these two both have a pretty good win-loss record um, going into this. You know, Justin Noble, a lot of people are probably wondering, well, why did he get a qualifying match? You know, he lost a tag title match at Invictus. Yeah, sure, but he won a heap load of matches going into that match. And Peyton Kemp believes that he is probably one of the best choices for a qualifying matchup. And, uh, well, hey, accompanied by Derek Colin, this is going to be a tall task for his opponent. And his opponent, speaking of menaces, is the man that everybody is branding the menace of DCW. It's the embodiment of a pyramid scheme, it's Samuel Clark. Because, you know, I, I asked Samuel, what would it mean to him to be in the ladder match? What would it mean for him to potentially go on to become CEW Intercontinental Champion? Because he's already had a shot at the championship. And he said it, it's very simple. The ladder represents what he loves the most about the world. And that is that the ones that are powerful, the people that win, they're on the top of the ladder. And that's what I mean by he is the embodiment of a pyramid scheme. Because Jesus Christ, this man, this man is a carny, alright? Well, we're just going to say it. He is, he is a carny, he's a bit of a scumbag. But he did get launched into a, a, into a, a cell, a hell of a cell by Luigiano Necci over on DCW. So, you know, maybe he's not in the best of mindsets. I don't know. But Samuel Clark, he's here trying to get into that ladder match. You know, we've already got a non-CW guy in that ladder match in the form of Evan Poland. Can Samuel Clark be the second? Or will Justin Noble bag himself a very important opportunity for himself? And now, oh my god, look at this out of the gate. The roll up. One. Oh, reversed. One. Reversed again. One. Oh, kick out there from Samuel Clark. And now, look at this. Oh, wait. Oh, reverses the shot. And now another roll up. Whoa, not even one. Not even one. Not even one. Kick out from Noble at not even one. And what on earth are we seeing here? Oh, wait, hold on. Ducks the, ducks the chop. And now, wait, hold on. Frankensteiner into a cover. Oh, my goodness. What? Not even one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is going on in this match? Oh, clothesline in the corner. And this is what you can expect from these two. These two, they don't care about having a good match. They care about making themselves look good. And we are in, uh, we are in for a very interesting match. I mean, what the hell are we seeing? Oh my God. Samuel Clark took the shoulder tackle because he just wanted to prove that he could basically jump up to the top rope. What on earth, is, what is going on right now? Because right now, Justin Noble is in control here with the butterfly suplex to Samuel Clark. Now, wait, hold on. Oh, look at this. Going in with the fight. Going in with the strikes. Now, what is Noble looking to do? I have no idea. Oh, wait, oh, faked him out. 
Oh, wait, hold on, block the chop, and now it, it's Clark's turn to get something going here. Oh, look at that, flashy as all hell. Oh, there we go, knee right to the gut. And look at this, Justin Noble not happy about being upstaged here. One, two, kick out there from Clark. And it, it really is going to go down to whose ego is more fragile. That, that, that's the real fight right here. Oh, my God, what? Oh my good lord. We are literally witnessing a battle of fragile egos right here. Oh my, and now look at this. Oh my god. Suckering him in. Suckering him in. What is going on? Oh my god. How many times are you both going to fall for this? And now look at this. Oh, knee right to hell. Oh my god. Clark is gushing. Okay, and we are officially Falcon Arrow. We are officially no longer in a let's all have fun and who has the most fragile ego kind of match. Justin Noble is proving he is here to win. And oh my god, look at this. Just opening up the wound some more. Samuel Clark really in trouble right here. Now look at this on the ropes. What are we about to see? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, the suplex onto those ropes. And now Justin Noble up on the top. What is he looking to do? Derek Colin just staring down Samuel Clark. Cross body off the top. Oh, went for the senton, but Clark fell away there. Now, what's he looking to do? Oh, wait, hold on. DDT on the outside. And this match has officially changed. Oh, my God, Clark. Trying to, almost trying to guess what Justin Noble was going to do. You can't do that, though. Justin Noble, it, as much as I don't want to give him his credit, he always feels like he is one step ahead of the competition. Oh, but now, wait, hold on, look at that. Clark able to sidestep the chop, and now, oh, look at this, just throwing him around. Oh, the flip sent on there. He's got to be careful, because Derek Colin is right there. Now, wait, hold on, look at this, picks up Clark. What is Derek Colin going to do? Nothing. Referee at seven, and now Justin Noble, oh, with a dive to the outside. Might have just damaged his leg there. Lots of people being a little bit reckless here. We are only eight days away from down in flames. If you get injured, oh, oh now look at this. Samuel Clark like a vulture. Going after that leg. Very smart there on the part of Clark. Oh, but now look at this. Derek realizes the situation and realizes that Justin Noble needs a little bit of assistance. Now wait, oh, drop kick there from Noble. Now what's he looking to do? Oh, oh, went for a four on there. Oh, the drop kick to the knee again. Clark being incredibly smart here with what he's doing in this matchup. Oh, look at this. Though. These two trading shots right now. Kick to the gut. And now, oh, there's the knee to the gut as well. Noble has been going after those ribs. He has been going after... Uh, he, he's trying to win Samuel Clark. And now, oh, misses the elbow. Now, Samuel Clark. Oh, get rich quick. He hits him with it. One, two, no. Samuel Clark not getting rich quick. Another one of his schemes. Foiled by Justin Noble. And now, oh, the shot block. Justin Noble now on the middle rope. What is he looking to do? Oh, the drop kick. Point blank as well. Goes into the cover here. One, Two kick out there from Clark. Now look at this all. Just going after the wound here. 
Trying to open the wound of Samuel Clark up a bit more. Now, wait, look at that. Picks at the ankle. And now Clark. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh! Catches him. One, two, no. And now, wait, hold on. Oh! Justin Noble saw it coming. And now, oh, wait, hold on. Catches him with the full away slam. And that's the strength of Justin. I, I Like I said, I don't like giving this man his due, you know, because he's a member of the Pain Foundation and all that, and, you know, he's a scumbag. But, oh my God, Justin Noble is somebody who has been a, a, a one to watch for quite some time in his career. And now going after the ribs again. Just planting Samuel Clark down. Bringing him back into the ring. Going into that cover. One, two. Samuel Clark able to kick out. And Justin not happy about that one bit. And now, oh, big knee just right to the jaw. Oh my god, Clark, you've got to start taking this match a little bit more seriously, man. Oh wait, hold on, oh, drop kick. Wait, hold on, was, was, he, was he playing uh, Justin for the fall? Got him caught, butterfly, backbreaker. And now, oh, standing moonsault. Clark feeling it into the runner. And now look at this. Fired up. What's he looking to do? Big forearm. Oh, but Derek Colon once again getting involved. Saving his friend. Saving Justin Noble. Who now picks him up. Oh, wait. home oh, caught the kick to the gut. And now Pyramid Scheme. One. Two. Noble able to kick out. He is not buying what Samuel Clark is selling. But Clark now, what's he looking to do? Oh! Went for a leg drop. And gets dropped by Justin Noble. Now look at this. Oh, combination. On the part of Justin Noble with the Falcon Arrow again doing the deal. Clark rolls to the outside and Noble is going to follow him. Oh God. Oh wait. Tiger Driver on the outside. Now wait, hold on. Oh, throws him. Oh my God. Oh, Noble has had enough, man. Noble is not holding back here tonight. Oh, my God. You're throwing him halfway across the ringside area. Breaks up the count. He wants to do more damage to Clark here. And now, oh, wait. Oh, the boot right to the skull. Into the drop kick, and you can see it there. Derek Colin just admiring Noble's handiwork. Oh, but wait! Clark fighting back. Oh, but caught the chop. Oh, wait, hold on. Ducks another chop. Oh, wait, look at this. These two countering each other on the outside. Now, look at this. Brought back into the ring. Justin Noble perhaps looking to put this away. Looking to go to down in flames. Goes for it. Oh, but Clark with the reversal into the power slam. But Derek Colon distracting Samuel Clark once again. Justin Noble sees it happening. Turns him around. And now looking for the swift exit. Don't even know if that's what he calls it. But you know what? It felt like that was going to be the end. But no, he's not done. He wants to make sure that he embarrasses Samuel Clark, and there's another one. 
One, two, Justin Noble is going to down in flames. Bro, a lot of people getting busted open here tonight. But Justin Noble, the fifth man in the ladder match. And in our main event, we are going to find out who the sixth man will be. Will it be Ben Jenkins or Gene Jackson? We're about to find out. Here we go, main event time. And you know what? This is a match I am looking forward to. Two of the Academy's best graduates battling it out to see who will get that final spot in the Down in Flames IC ladder match. As making his way down to the ring, the man they call Benkins, Ben Jenkins. And this man recently joined forces with Gene Jackson and Rohan Kosler in the Academy of Excellence. So he's essentially under the learning tree. We, I, I know we don't like using that term in wrestling right now. But he's basically under the learning tree of Gene Jackson. You know, Ben has had a really interesting run since graduating from the Academy. You know, he, he lost to Stanley Owens. He lost to Bob Parks. He's losing to future and current world champions. You know, like, Stanley was the world champion. Bob Parks went on to become the world champion. But can Ben Jenkins take out the first Academy graduate to hold a championship outside of the Academy in the form of a former REW World Tag Team Champion, Gene Jackson. Gene is somebody who has gone from strength to strength. And you know what? Uh, uh, something that these two have in common, Ben and Gene. Both have lost to Stanley Owens. But both took him to his absolute limit. And tonight, these two are on a, 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 a fight for an opportunity. I guess you could say. Well, that's literally what they're fighting for. They are fighting for a chance to become the workhorse of this company. And I think either one of these two could do it. Because we know the other five. Ryan Shamrock, Tony Ford... Kenichi Hikaru, Evan Poland, Justin Noble, and then one of these two men in what should be an insane six-man ladder match at Down in Flames. If even one, whoever out of these two qualifies, we are going to have one of the best ladder matches in CEW history, and probably one of the best IC title matches in CEW history. But which member of the Academy of Excellence is going to walk away with the win? Rohan not here tonight, you know. They didn't think it was fair asking him, you know, hey, be in one person's corner. So he just decided, you know, I'm going to bow out. They're keeping it respectful, you know. Oh, and now look at that. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, Gene. Here's the thing, right? Gene is going to have that sort of early advantage because... You know, Ben might have been able to become Academy Champion, and Gene wasn't able to get it done. However, when Gene left the Academy, obviously, the first man to become a champion has been putting in the work, you know, and now look at this bow and arrow from Ben Jenkins. This is what Ben's going to do. He's going to try and keep it grounded, keep it technical, and Gene is going to try and throw this man around, and oh, look at that, went for a headbutt. But Gene had it, oh, no, well, Ben had it well scouted, sorry. And now, oh, wait, look at this. These two have each other's offense well scouted. Now, look, look at this. It's going to be tricky for either man to really get something going here when you can just counter each other like this. One kick out there from Ben. Look at this, these two relishing the fact that they are facing each other here tonight. A lot on the line. 
look at this. It really, oh, he's sucking him in and there's an uppercut. And Gene changing up his strategy, it feels, on the fly. And now look at this, Gene Jackson got wrench. Oh, oh, but he's not done. This is the strength of Gene Jackson that I was telling you about. This man's a freak of nature. Look at that. The trifecta of gut wrenches. And now, oh my god, look at this. Not done. Dead lift. Sit out power bomb. One, two. Kick out there from Ben. And this match hasn't even been going on for that long. And Gene is already putting the pressure on. Went for that uppercut. But Ben saw it coming. And now, look at this. Trying to ground gene jackson and it's really gonna be about who can get that momentum going the fastest who can get their strategy in quicker and now look at this ben with his own strength deadlift german but gene in the ropes there now look at this ben sending him into the corner and now look at that big flip Neither man really has the advantage so far. Gene, like I said, he has that strength on ice fisherman suplex. Gene's shoulder is up. One, two. Gene, I, I, I guess he kicked out at two because he didn't think his shoulders were, uh, were down, to be honest. Oh, nice double stomp. And now, oh my god. Death by uppercut. And Ben is feeling the, 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 the effects of that one. Now look at this. Gene has been on the barricade and now a boot to the skull. It feels like we might be in advantage Gene Jackson territory. I honestly don't know. Now look at this. Gene back in the ring. Oh, caught though. Now we're home. Ben looking for that bow and arrow once again. Caught in the bow and arrow is Gene Jackson. And again, this isn't a hold that's going to put a match up away. This isn't a hold that's going to beat Gene Jackson. But it's a hold that's going to force him. To, to expel more energy by getting out of it, or it's going to drain his energy by keeping him in. But this is a move that could put a matchup away. But Ben in the ropes. Now look at the strength once again of Gene Jackson just throwing him across the ring. Now look at that submission hold so close to the ropes again. This is one that doesn't put the matchup away. But it's one that wears down your opponent. Gene, uh, Gene knows that. Oh, but now look at this. Cross face. Both men throwing out cross faces here tonight. And Gene just trying to get to those ropes. Oh, but now look at that. Using his strength. Big time uppercut once again. Into the double stomp. Oh, well, I went for that kick, but no got caught the dragon screw. Smart on the part of Benkins to keep the pressure going. And now what's he looking to do? Oh, oh, drop kick. Missile drop kick from Benkins. Now look at this. Ben thinks it's enough, and it could be. One, two... No. Now wait. Oh, oh wait. Benkins went for something there. But Gene not going to let that happen. And instead, what's he looking for? Oh. Oh, like a, a high angle tiger bomb there. And now, oh my God, look at the strength. Spinning up. Ben Jenkins around. One, two. Ben gets to the ropes.
Gene seemed impressed by that, but now looking to put this match up away. Oh my God. One, two, no. Now, wait, hold on. Gene has him in the corner, and there's another uppercut. Now, what's Gene looking to do? Oh, my God. The hesitation drop kick picks him up. And now, look at something crazy here. Going after the arm of Ben Jenkins and just launching him. And still going after the arm. Oh, but now look at that. Oh, wait, on Ben. Ben on the ropes. Oh, but the stomp to the back of the head. You know for a fact these two aren't going to hold anything back just because they're in a faction together. You know that for a fact. And look at this. Ben Jenkins fighting from underneath. And now look at the strength of this man with the deadlift German once again. And look at this. Ben Jenkins with a second one. He's a freak. And the Northern Lights as well. One, two, no. Herc Jenkins up in here. Stalking his prey. And now, oh my God. One, two. Gene able to kick out. But something has changed in the mindset of Ben Jenkins in the in the better part of about a minute and now oh my god wait hold on Ben oh my god with authority that one one two Gene stays alive And now what on earth is Ben Jenkins looking to do? Oh, he's looking to fly. Oh, my God, the diving headbutt. One, two, no. Gene somehow staying alive. But Ben Jenkins is on a warpath right now. Oh, but look at that old Gene. Able to find his way, able to get something going here. Now look at the strength. Just, oh, scoop slam. One, two, kick out from Ben Jenkins. You can see the force that Gene slammed him down with. Driving all of his body weight down onto Ben as well. Oh, big uppercut though. Ben trying to go for something, no back elbow. And now Gene has him caught. Snaps the neck, looking for it. Neutralizer to put this match up away. One, two, no. And now Gene needs to think of a plan. Gene needs to put this match up away now. He has the momentum. And now look at this, going after the back of Ben Jenkins. Very wise. Now, wait, hold on. Single leg Boston Crab. Single leg Boston Crab locked in. And Ben Jenkins trying to crawl. But can he get there? He is struggling. He can't even get any traction right now. And that's because this match has been going on for so long that you, you start to get sweaty palms. This ring starts to get really slippery. It starts to get a little sweaty and you're not able to grip as well. And you've also got to think about the fact he's got like a 240 pound man bringing the weight down on the leg and the back. Oh, now look at this. Sits down on it. My God, he's been in there for a long time. Ben is struggling right now. Oh, but now look at that. Ben Jenkins picks the ankle. And now Oihan slides through. Boston Crab. Locks it in. Gene Jackson in trouble. Nowhere to go. 
It is going to be his strength that dictates if he can break free. As right now, Gene is struggling in this hold. Ben Jenkins is going to refuse to let go until Gene finds a way free. And now turns it around. Big boot right to the skull. Oh, and the uppercut. To put this away. One, two, no. What is it going to take for one of these two men to take the, the, the victory? Oh, oh, they went for that uppercut. Caught, oh, they went for the headbutt. Caught the uppercut. And now, Ben Dragon Suplex. One, two, no. And now, wait, hold on. Ben Jenkins, Hamlock arm breaker, all but Gene in the ropes. And now Ben going after the arms. Kind of smart. Eliminates the damage from the uppercuts. Ben thinking on the fly here. Now wait, hold on, he went for something there, but Gene not going to let that happen. And now wait, Gene with the takedown. Now what are we about to see? Oh wait, hold on, got him caught. Oh my god, on the outside. Oh my god, Gene. Power bomb on the outside too. And Ben Jenkins is struggling right now. Gene bringing it back in. He doesn't want to win by count out here. Oh, wait, what, Gene? What are you doing? We don't see this man go to the top rope often. Cross body! And now, oh no. Death by uppercut! But Ben back up to his feet! Hits it again! But Ben stays alive. Oh my god, just going for those chops. Oh wait, hold on, Ben ducks. And now, figure the Boston Crab. But Gene in the ropes. Oh man. Ben Jenkins with that quick thinking, but it wasn't able to be. Because look at this ankle lock. But once again, Gene gets to the ropes. Now we're on off the ropes. Oh my god, belly to belly. On the part of Ben Jenkins. And now look at this. Bringing the fight and now thinking another dragon suplex. Now what are we about to see? Ben. Oh, went for that butterfly. Couldn't get it though. And now Gene, caught with the jawbreaker, caught with the forearm, brought, oh, brought back into the ring. Now Ben, looking perhaps to put this away, oh no, caught, oh, Ben blocked the headbutt, caught with the uppercut now, is Gene. And now, oh wait, hold on, thinking that dragon suplex again. But Gene with the counter. Picks up Ben Jenkins. And now what's he looking to do? Catches him. High angle Tiger Bomb into the cover. One, two, no. Now what on earth are we about to see? Gene going up top again. Oh my god, he went for a diving headbutt. Caught with the Boston Crab again, but Gene in the ropes. And the ropes have been the saving grace of Gene Jackson for this entire match. Oh, but wait! Ben went for that DDT. 
was going to use all his strength, but couldn't get it done. And now Gene to put this away. Neutralizer to Ben Jenkins. And Gene is going to punch his ticket. One, two. Ben kicks out. The resiliency of Benkins. How did he stay alive? Oh wait, hold on, big shot. Kick to the knee. Into the Magistral. One, two. Ben Jenkins pin Gene. He beat him with a hold. He beat him by being the better wrestler. And Ben Jenkins punches his ticket. He is the final man in the Down in Flames ladder match. I've been commentator Byron, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>